now we will see how we can create a collectible. Uh, so let's move this crystal uh, like uh, here. Uh, this will be our collectible and move it uh, up something like that. And all these uh, changes uh, happens in the edit mode, okay? Because the edit mode is where we build. Um, so while we are in edit mode, let me also move this out of this folder. Um, so like where? Okay, uh, let's uh, change uh, the material first. So this is a very common crystal, nothing special with it. And if we go here and click on glass, we see I, without me doing anything or change anything, now we have a very uh, interesting crystal uh, for collectible with all these uh, um, glass artifacts uh, happening. Uh, of course, now if we want to collect this crystal, our character collect this crystal, um, of course, this crystal should have physical properties. Uh, else it will not, uh, it doesn't matter else, okay, it, the player will not interact with it. So like we did before, we go to physics, and we go to physical and make this yes. And now our crystal has uh, static properties, okay, and we don't want to be static because we don't want the character to be able to step on the crystal, but we want our character to be able to pass through the crystal so uh, she can collect it. So we change that to ghost, okay, and then since it's ghost, it's still, uh, we can still have uh, uh, collision events from it. And let's change the collider shape to something like a sphere, and uh, this is ready now. Uh, it's ready to, to do stuff with it. Okay, let's create an animation uh, in animation mode like we did before, and again, I right click, create animation. And let's uh, make this animation and call it like a hover. Okay, and we first, uh, we are going to create a hover animation for this crystal. And like we did before, exactly like we did before, we add this uh, crystal to the timeline. Okay, and uh, in this case, we want our crystal to go up and down. So we add the position Y uh, uh, property. Uh, like we did before, this is the origin, means the current uh, position of the crystal in the y axis. Um, so uh, let me add the keyframe around uh, here, for example, and let's make this crystal go up by 0 0.5 units. And let's make this crystal go again down by uh, origin minus 0 0.5 units. Okay, it's exactly the same, uh, the same result. Uh, let's enable uh, this this loop so it works uh, continuously looping. Um, and another one uh, that I forgot to mention before, um, if we click this uh, origin, this keyframe, uh, you will see there is a transition uh, effect here. And if we click on a linear, you will see some various interpolations. So if we click this, means that uh, we don't have interpolation or we have a linear interpolation, or we have an ease interpolation. And if you want even more interpolations, you can hover over more, and you can choose anything it fits your uh, effect better. Uh, for now, I will choose ease, <coughs> and uh, enter, and I will do the same here, and I will make ease, and I will tell you what this does, and we don't have to uh, to add an easy interpolation here because this is the last keyframe. So the interpolation is between two points here and here, and here and here. And if we play now, we will see that our crystal has uh, a more smooth uh, uh, movement. And to make it more interesting, uh, even more interesting, we can add uh, a rotation Y. And the rotation Y again is origin to origin plus 360, but now we are referring to angles, to degrees, to angle degrees, okay? Um, if we play now, we have created uh, a nice uh, crystal with all these uh, colors, okay? And now how we are going to trigger this uh, animation? Let's go to trigger stub, and we will add a different trigger this time, the object enabled. So what this trigger does is when uh, the object uh, uh, gets enabled for first time, or it gets disabled, or is continuously enabled. 
okay, which is what we want. So uh, as soon as this object is continuously enabled, uh, this animation will be triggered and will play. The moment that this uh, object stop being uh, enabled, so will be disabled, uh, this animation will stop. Um, of course, we need, uh, right now it says no object, so we need this reference to the to this crystal, okay? Um, and now this animation is uh, done. Um, so let's create another animation now. Again, create, create animation. And uh, let's uh, rename this to something like uh, collecting. Okay. And we import the same crystal again to the timeline. You see the steps is uh, pretty much uh, the same. And what we are going to do here is we want our character to be able to collect this, uh, this crystal. And uh, how we can collect this crystal is uh, first we are doing the, the, the effect of collecting it. And the effect is the crystal should move from its position and go inside uh, our player and get uh, really small and uh, disappear. Okay. Um, how we can do this? So first of all, let's add properties for position he, position x, uh, position uh, y, and uh, position uh, z. I'm just adding uh, properties, okay? Um, and let's also add uh, scale x and scale uh, uh, y and scale uh, z. And all these are set as uh, the previous animation to origin. <coughs> so let's go around to point 0 0.6 uh, time and we create a new uh, keyframe. And here we are going to type a special uh, function. Uh, and to find this function, we will uh, um, type get, okay, get. And we'll see all these available functions that uh, give us information about something. So let's continue typing, get global, global, to filter these results. And we are going to choose get global position X. Okay. And what this function does is to give us information about uh, the coordinates in the X axis about a, an object, in any object. And um, to do this, we, we first need to define which object are we referring to. And we should type it inside these two parentheses. Uh, how to define this object like we did before? Uh, we will type a dollar sign. Okay, dollar sign. And now we can see all these available objects and we will click on uh, main character. Okay, so now this function will find us uh, the exact uh, um, position or in the x-axis about the main character and click enter. And we will do the same, exactly the same, like the position y. So we do again get global position y this time. Okay, and again dollar sign and main character. But we are going to add uh, uh, one unit here because the pivot of this character is down here on the feet and we want to go around uh, um, the face or the head. Uh, let's click Enter. And the, exactly the same uh, with the Z axis, get global position Z and dollar sign again and main character and click Enter. Okay, and now we want uh, the crystal to get uh, really, really small. So from the current uh, scale, which is origin, it doesn't matter. Uh, origin means the current scale at this time. We want to make it zero. And zero is for the scale Y. And zero is for the scale uh, Z. Okay, and uh, now, of course, the, the crystal is getting really, really small, but it is not getting um, disappear. So to, to make the crystal disappear, I believe that was uh, part of your previous question, uh, uh, Nikki. And so we can click on here and click enabled. So what this does is to make the mess or this object to disappear. So from yes, we click and we set it to on, to off. Um, so right now we have just uh, make this crystal disappear, but uh, uh, 
we also need to disable the physics. Uh, we want to do it, to do this on the first uh, on the first moment of this animation on position zero, okay. And to disable this, we go to Ricky Body Enabled. We add this property, and we set this to off. And we want to do this because we want our character to only touch the crystal once, so we don't uh, have multiple uh, collision events with the crystal. And just to make things a little bit uh, more interesting, we can add a sound, for example, and we can go there and we can import uh, a, diff a sound that we like. So open and now if we click this, uh, let me, you see that uh, the crystal goes in the character. Uh, we will see this uh, in live, uh, in gameplay in soon. Um, so how we can uh, actually trigger this animation uh, like we did before with, uh, with the collision event that I showed you. Uh, we are going to create a collision event again and collision started. Okay, and the collision event is between two objects, the main character and the crystal. And uh, they both should have uh, physical properties, uh, even ghost. Ghost is a physical property. Uh, so let's go to main character as the first object. And the second object should be uh, this uh, crystal. Uh, let's save this and let's see how it looks this in game. So you see the crystal is going up and down and it's rotating. And when our character passed through, the crystal uh, disappears and gets in the character and we have collected. 